my Girl Scouts and welcome to Daisy Coding for Good. We're going to be working on badge one. Let me get my little cursor out. So we're going to be working on badge one today. And for this badge, we're going to end by doing a binary bracelet for fun, which has a little bit to do with coding basics and basic design. And while we don't use binary code, or at least the coding that we utilize today is a derivative of binary code, the binary code is built into it, it's still fun to know where we come from. And that has a lot to do with coding basics one in general. And so what you're going to need to make a little coding bracelet is uh, for supplies three be beads in three different colors and quite a few beads of three different colors like ten of each color um, and string to make your little bead bracelet or necklace you can do whatever you would like but those are the supplies you're going to need so without further ado let's get started so we're going to be working on basics and we're going to talk about creating an algorithm for the computer that follows the sequence learning about women in computer specifically Ada Lovelace and exploring sorting algorithms. And so really quickly creating an algorithm for a computer that follows a sequence. Computers are machines that follow direction. Computer scientists are called programmers or coders. They use special languages to tell computers what to do. Programmers write a list of steps called an algorithm. The order of the steps are in called the sequence. Computers follow the steps exactly. And basically, if something goes wrong with your sequence, you did something wrong in building the code. So one of the first computer pioneers was a woman. Her name was Ada Lovelace. She was born about 200 years ago, and when she was a little girl, she discovered that she loved math and science. Ada created the first computer code working with her friend, Charles Badage, did I say that right? <laughs> they made the machine that could do math. So they basically built a calculator, which would work the same way, right? Um, Ada at the time was only 17 years old when she created this, this math calculating algorithm. And she is given the credit as being one of the pioneers of coding. So let's talk about a sorting algorithm. Computer algorithms basically are sorting or telling computers how to do different functions. So if A is selected, B will happen. If C is selected, D will happen. That is how this works. And one of the projects that they talked about doing is utilizing a sorting algorithm to sort out something like a puppy dog. And so I'm going to change my little method to something smaller. So if I had a puppy dog, so if I wanted to sort out a puppy dog, let's say I'm, I'm searching like a pet adoption system, I would set up my algorithm in a series of steps where if the person searching were to select something, it would give choices A and B. So for example, I might start out as having you select, would you prefer cats or dogs, right? And then I might have it programmed where if you select dogs, you might get asked something like, what size dog? Would you prefer a small dog, a medium-sized dog, or a large dog? So small, medium, large. And maybe underneath that I might put weights so that people understand what we mean by small. Dog under 15 pounds, medium, a dog between 15 to, you know, 40 pounds, and large dog 40 pounds up, for example. Then from there, if I was to select maybe a medium-sized dog, it might ask me, would I prefer the age of a puppy, a juvenile, or an adult dog, right? So these are all things. And then maybe if I select juvenile, it might ask me, would I prefer male or female as my dog gender? So those are examples of building sorting algorithms. And if you select one, it gives you another choice. And if you select the next one, it gives you another choice. So this is how we build an algorithm code. Underneath the algorithm code is a system that I said we don't really have to utilize anymore because these are all built in or drawn in of computer language. And the computer language is the binary system. And the binary system is the number skews 
utilize do things. And this is because binary code or everything that the computer understands is actually in numbers. So going back to Ada Lovelace, she built everything and created a math system. That math system was all coordinated to a language of ones and zeros. And these signalings of ones and zeros create the language. Now for our purposes, we're going to do our binary code with just colors so that we don't get confused. And so I asked you if you would select three different colors and we're going to be using those colors to do our little our little bracelets here and so I thought it would be fun to create a binary code initial bracelet and you can basically assign the black the black dots in your binary code key as being one of the three colors that you selected so you know for say we could say that I have black and white so I'm just going to use black and white but you could say that the black would be purple and the white would be yellow and spacers, which are just your in-betweens, could be red, for example. So you're going to assign your colors, and then you're going to put in your initials. So my initials would be Kristen, Joy, Quell, K, J, Q. And so what I would do is I would go to my binary key over here, and I would look at the K, whoop, and that would be my initials. So I'm going to put in my K initial beads, so I would have my black bead, Black bead, white bead, black bead, black bead, white bead, white bead, black bead, black bead. And then I would put in a spacer. So spacer bead. Then I would go to my J, which is my next initial. And I would do my beads for that. And then I would put in a spacer. And then I would go to Quell for my last name and put in my spacer. If you end up building a binary code bracelet, I would love to see it. So please feel free to post on to our Troop Facebook page, which is Troop 5036. And as the final bit to your project for your first badge, it asks if you are inspired by anything. So did anything that we talked about today inspire you in any way? And once again, you can let me know. I'm always interested in hearing. And with that, I hope you enjoyed working on badge one with me. I hope you enjoy making your binary code initial bracelets. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye!